Once upon a time, there was a soldier who returned from a long war. He was tired and penniless, but his heart was warmed by the kindness of strangers. Some were poor, but still gave him whatever they could. Be gone, nasty, smelly old crone! How do you know my name? What? Oh, just a little witch humor. You're a fine, upstanding soldier. Hmm, you're strong, too. <laughs> How would you like to make some money? Behind each door is a wooden box full of money. But they are all guarded by ferocious dogs. If you put my magic apron over the dog's eyes, it will sleep while you help yourself to as much money as you can carry. And what do you get out of this, old twitch? Oh, just a dusty old tinderbox lying down there. Bring me it and you can keep all the money. And so, with nothing to lose, the soldier took the witch up on her offer and he climbed inside. And just like the witch had said, there was a ferocious dog. So he did what she told him to, and he took out the magic apron. Delighted, the soldier filled his pockets with copper coins as the dog slept. Then he entered the next room. Give it to me. Not so fast. What's so special about this tinderbox? Tell me, witch, or I'll cut off your head. Nothing. Just give it to me. No, I think I'll keep it. He said, and as she walked off, she did what any witch would do, and she cursed him, saying that until he replaced the greed in his heart with love, he would never be free. But the soldier was rich, and he didn't care about a silly old witch's curse. He was having fun. But fun only lasts for a while. While he spent all his money on friends and lavish parties, he never noticed that his stock of gold coins was almost getting over. That's where the king keeps her, his most precious jewel, the princess. A prisoner? But why? A witch cursed the king for his greed and said the princess would only marry a common soldier. The king keeps her locked up, hoping one day a rich prince will come along. When the soldier saw her face, he immediately fell in love with her. He somehow wanted to convince the king to her hand in marriage, so he came up with an idea. He took all his remaining gold and went to the goldsmith to make a gift for the king. A rich prince at last. The king sent for the prince, but when the soldier came in and the king saw he was wearing... Soldier's boots. The king ordered him to leave. But your majesty, I am no longer a soldier. I am a very rich man. Rich, you say? How rich? 
the king sent his accountant to check if the soldier was telling the truth. They soon realized that the soldier didn't have any coins left at all. He realized his friends weren't real friends at all, especially now that he had no money. And because he was poor, the king wouldn't let him marry the princess. What was he to do? Of course, the old witch, the tree, the money. <coughs> he was deflated. With just one coin left, the soldier didn't have enough. He didn't have any money for his next meal either. He suddenly remembered the old tinderbox and fetched it. As soon as he struck the tinderbox, a ferocious dog appeared. Yes, it was the same one that he saw inside the hollow tree. Money. Bring me money. Lots of it. Haven't you learned nothing from what that witch taught you? You speak? Why didn't you speak before? I didn't get the chance. You sent me to sleep with that stupid apron. Oh, sorry about that. Tell me, soldier, did the money really bring you happiness? Then ask yourself, what is it your heart truly desires? Huh, a princess. Everyone wants a princess. It's never a dog, is it? The dog vanished in a flash of light. A moment later, it reappeared with the sleeping princess on its back. The soldier was stunned. He reached out to touch her. The soldier didn't realize it, but something had replaced the greed in his heart. It was love. The next morning, the dog took the princess onto his back and took her back to the palace. Is something wrong, child? Last night I had the strangest dream. I rode on a dog's back. It took me to a house where a handsome soldier lived. He told me he loved me more than anything in the world. The king told the queen to stay awake all night to keep watch over the princess. The queen had an idea. She filled a small silk bag with buckwheat flour and sewed it to the back of the princess's nightdress. That night, when the dog carried the princess on his back, he was unaware of the flour trickling out of the bag, leaving a small trail behind them. If I could have one wish, it would be to marry you and to make you happy forever. I know now that true love is more precious than all the money in the world. The king, queen, and the guards followed the trail of flour to the soldier's house. The soldier was told he was being arrested for kidnapping the princess and that he would be executed the following day. He thought about the poor people who gave him their last. Boy, wait! How would you like to earn some money? He told the boy if he ran as fast as the wind and fetched the tinderbox from his home, he would give him his very last gold coin. Any last requests, soldier? <laughs> the soldier had a plan. He asked the king for a pipe to smoke. The soldier told the king he had been cursed by the witch too, but the curse was now lifted because he had replaced the greed in his heart with true love. Love was more important than money. Ridiculous! The soldier said he would give the king the tinderbox. 
in return for the princess's hand in marriage. Where are we going, my love? How will we live? The soldier didn't know. Neither did he care. Because what was important was the love they had in their hearts for each other. And that was something all the money in the world couldn't buy. <laughs>